my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bachelor of commerce fourth semester subject web technologies as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 2 the important short question is 1 what is dhtml what are the technologies included in dhtml dhtml dynamic html is not a single technology it's a combination of web technologies that makes websites more interactive and lively without reloading the page technologies in dhtml 1 html the basic structure like building blocks 2 css for styling colors fonts layout 3 javascript adds interactivity like buttons sliders etc 4 dom document object model allows javascript to change html and css on the fly example imagine a website button that changes color when you hover over it and shows a message without refreshing the page that's dhtml in action button on click is equal to this dot inner html is equal to you clicked me click me button here html creates the button javascript changes the text when clicked all without reloading the page easy tip to remember dhtml is equal to html plus css plus javascript plus dom think of it as a masala dosa each ingredient tech adds its own flavor to make the final dish interactive and fun next important short question is to explain about dhtml features dhtml features make websites more dynamic attractive and interactive just like turning a boring thali into a spicy chaat key features of dhtml one dynamic content content can change without refreshing the page example a live cricket score updating automatically two interactive effects elements respond to user actions like clicks or mouse movement example a button changes color when you hover three animation moving images or text without using videos or flash example scrolling news headlines or sliding banners four form validation checks user input before sending it to the server example showing a message if someone forgets to enter their name in a form five faster interaction no need to reload the whole page for small changes easy tip to remember think of dhtml as a magic remote control for your web page you can change anything anytime without leaving the sofa or reloading the page next important short question is three advantages of css css cascading style sheets is used to style web pages like giving clothes to plain html advantages of css one separation of content and style html handles content css handles design example you can change font size colors layout all using css two faster loading one css file can style many pages so less code means faster websites three easy maintenance want to change the background color on 100 pages just update one css file four better consistency all pages look similar when using the same css example all headings on a site can have the same style five responsive design css helps make websites look good on mobile tablet and desktop example a website that adjusts automatically when you rotate your phone easy tip to remember CSS is like makeup for websites it makes them look good neat and ready for the party next unit to important long questions first important long question is 
1. What do you mean by DHTML? Explain the components of DHTML. What is DHTML? DHTML, Dynamic HTML, is not a programming language, but a combo of technologies used to create interactive and dynamic websites. With DHTML, web pages don't need to reload every time you want to make a small change, things can update instantly. It makes websites behave more like desktop apps, where users can click, drag, hide, move or change things directly on the page. Components of DHTML DHTML is made up of four main components. Think of it like making a full Indian thali, each item adds to the final taste. 1. HTML, Hypertext Markup Language it gives the structure of the web page. Example, adding text, images, tables, etc. P. Hello, this is a paragraph, P. 2. CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. It gives style and design to the web page. Example, you can change font color, background, layout, etc. P. Style is equal to color, green, styled paragraph, P. 3. JavaScript It adds interactivity to the website. Example, clicking a button to show a message. Button on click is equal to alert, namaste. Click me button. 4. DAM, Document Object Model It lets JavaScript interact with HTML elements. Example, change the text of a paragraph using code. Document.getElementBead Demo.innerHTML is equal to text changed. PID is equal to demo original text P. Easy example of DHTML in action. Clicking a button changes text without reloading the page. PID is equal to MSG welcome P. Button on click is equal to document.getElementBead MSG.innerHTML is equal to hello from DHTML. Click me button. Tip to remember. DHTML is equal to HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript plus DAM. Just like a perfect masala dosa needs batter, potato stuffing, chutney and sambhar, a dynamic web page needs all these four ingredients to work smoothly. Next important long question is. 2. What is CSS? Explain the various types of cascading style sheets, CSS. What is CSS? CSS, cascading style sheets, is a language used to style and design web pages. It helps make your website look beautiful, organized, and easy to use. If HTML is like the body of a person, CSS is like the clothes and makeup, it makes everything look better. Why use CSS? To change fonts, colors, backgrounds, margins, spacing, and layout. To make websites look good on phones, tablets, and computers, responsive design. To control the design of multiple pages using just one CSS file. Types of CSS There are three main types of CSS. Think of them like three ways to apply colors to a drawing. 1. Inline CSS CSS is written directly inside an HTML tag. Used for quick styling of a single element. P style is equal to color, red, this is red text P. Easy but not good for large websites. 2. Internal CSS CSS is written in the style tag inside the head section of the HTML page. Used for styling a single web page. Good for small websites with a few pages. 3. External CSS CSS is written in a separate .css file and linked to HTML using a link tag. Used for styling multiple web pages with one file. Style.css P. Color green. Index.html. Head. Link rail is equal to style sheet 
ref is equal to style dot css head best for large websites easy to update and manage tip to remember inline is equal to in the line internal is equal to inside the page external is equal to extra file it's like wearing colors inline is equal to lipstick only internal is equal to full dress for one event external is equal to wardrobe ready for every day next important long question is 3 briefly explain about css changing text css changing text made simple css cascading style sheets is used to change how text looks on a web page it can change the color size style spacing alignment and more this helps make the text more attractive readable and suitable for your website's design imagine writing a heading for a birthday invitation you want it to be big bold colorful and fun css helps you do that easily common css properties to change text one color changes the text color p color red two font size changes the size of the text p font size 20 px three font family changes the style type of font p font family arial sans serif four font weight makes text bold or light p font weight bold five text align aligns the text left right center justify p text align center six text decoration adds underline line through or none a text decoration none seven letter spacing adds space between letters p letter spacing to px example html p class is equal to style text hello students p css dot style text color blue font size 24 px font family comic sans ms text align center this will display the text hello students in blue big size comic style font and centered on the page easy tip to remember css changes text just like you change your handwriting neat bold stylish or colorful based on where you are writing like a greeting card or a school project next important long question is for explain a program to show the text changing its color dynamically program to show text changing its color dynamically let's create a fun program where the text color changes dynamically automatically or when you click a button for this we will use html css and javascript just like making a dish with three ingredients what we'll do we'll write a simple program where a line of text changes its color every time you click a button code example html plus css plus javascript doc type html html head style hush my text font size 24 px font weight bold color black text align center button margin top 20 px padding 10 px 20 px font size 16 px style head body pid is equal to my text watch my color change p div style is equal to text align center button on click is equal to change color change color button div script const colors is equal to red green blue orange purple brown let i is equal to 0 function change color document dot get element bead my text dot style dot color is equal to colors i i is equal to i plus 1 percent colors dot length script body html how it works 
HTML creates the text and button. CSS styles the text and button to look nice. JavaScript changes the color every time you click the button. It uses an array of colors and changes them in a loop. Easy tip to remember. Just like changing your pen ink while writing notes, click the button and the text changes its ink color. This is a great way to learn the HTML, HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript working together. Next important long question is. 5. Explain how to create multimedia effects with filters and transitions. Creating multimedia effects with filters and transitions made simple. Multimedia effects make websites look more fun, modern and eye-catching. Using CSS filters and transitions, we can create cool visual effects like fading images, glowing text, blur effects and more all without using any video or animation software. It's like adding mirch masala to a plain dish. Suddenly it looks and feels exciting. 1. CSS filters used to change how an image or element looks. You can apply blur, brightness, contrast, grayscale and more. Example, blur an image. Style, King. Filter, blur, 3px. Style, in src is equal to image.jpg, alt is equal to blurred image, width is equal to 300. This will make the image look blurry. 2. CSS transitions create smooth movement when a style changes. You can transition colors, sizes, positions, etc. Example, smooth color change on hover. Style. Dot box. Width. 200px. Height 100px. Background color blue. Color white. Text align center. Line height 100px. Transition background color once. Dot box over. Background color red. Style. Div class is equal to box over me div. When you hover over the box, it slowly changes color from blue to red. Combine filters plus transitions for cool effects. Style. Dot image effect. Width 300px. Filter grayscale 100%. Transition filter once. Dot image effect hover. Filter grayscale 0%. Style. In class is equal to image effect, src is equal to nature.jpg, alt is equal to nature. This image looks black and white first, and when you hover, it smoothly becomes colorful. Easy tip to remember. Filters is equal to Photoshop for your website. Transitions is equal to slow motion magic. Together, they add movie style effects to your web pages. Try experimenting with these to make your site look awesome and fun. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.